So the Ryanair chase is up next. Well done to Vinnie Gerard taking the per tenths in the last. Let's see the runners here and riders for the Ryanair. As we wait for the card to load. So another new winner. So over two miles and five furlongs. Access Prospector for Hems. Einzer or Bravery for Darren Thompson. Corners Val for Derek Hinton. Floats like a summer fly for Joshua Sutherland, the 15th weight favourite. Front by middle for Tam King. Matching Gwid. Goydee for Leon Van Rensburg, Pure Force for Craig Beck with Belmore Stone for Pontypool along with Bobby XL, Capstick Oleander for David Robertson, Chatterbury Altus for Ryan Costello, Footprints for Leon Van Rensburg, in the nick of time for Joshua Sutherland, Petra Van Nadella for James Shea, Starbet Mona for David Robertson, and Zomaradar Alarab for Craig Allen. Allen even makes up 15, 16. It's a nice big field here. As we look to take the Ryan out. Settle down. So that's 17 fences to take. We get to the first plain one. And they've all negotiated it. No fallers. And he's Belmore Stone. Grand class about the leaders from the grey front by the middle for Tam King as they go over the second. Front by the middle jump that much better. Jumps himself into the lead. And Belmore Stone floats like a summer fly and pure force. Any one, two, three, four. There's a few horses still going there. Uh, Center and wide of the course here as we come up to the first of the turns here. And I want to tag over towards the the route. And then we're still being led by front by middle from Belmore Stone. Floats like a summer fly in pure force. We're a couple of lengths away from Matching Goidy. Access Prospector in the nick of time and Bobby XL wide. Some radar Alarabs in there. Footprints up against the fence. And the outside of that is Petrovan Petrovanadella. Capstick Oleander and Starbeck Mona. And just the three at the rear. Chatterbury Altos, Corners Val Knights, Sobre as they go over the fourth. Everybody's still on their feet. And it is front by middle. Leads by about two to floats like a summer fly. Fly. Now we'll skip over that. A little bit of a poor jump by pure force. The two out front, front by middle, and floats like a summer fly. Got about four lengths away from matching matching Goidy. Pure force. Belmore Stone and Access Prospector together. And Zomradar Alarab as they go over the six. Again, everybody's still on their feet. Poor jump there by Starbeck. Mona shuffles back towards the pack. There's a shot from the grandstand as they go over the cell. We've lost one there. Footprints has gone. Uh, one of Leon's is out. Isn't the, the most, I think, most favoured. No, I'm sure they're very similar horses. But it's front by the middle and floats like a summer fly. Followed through by Pure Force now, matching Goidy. Belmore, Stone and Access Prospector. And a little break back to in the nick of time. Bobby XL, Capstick on the end, they're pushing through. Petrovina Della's just behind them. And we've got a couple of lengths back to Starbeck Mona. Einzer Sobrabri's still quite at the rear for Darren Thompson. Come on, we've lost one. Einzer Sobrabri's gone. Well favoured by a few uh, pundits. Unlucky for Darren Thompson. That's two down. Skip over the water, all over it. And up front it is still, front by middle. A length and a half for Tam King, from floats like a summer fly. And three or four back to matching Goidy. Belmore Stone to go to the ditch, tenth. I want to go shed that well enough. We come to just a, a mile left to home as they go over the uphill fence. All got over that as well. The one that didn't jump it well was floats like a summer fly, it's a little bit slow over it. Uh, front by middle has extended his lead by length or so. We're inside the final mile now as we start to make our way downhill. It's front by the middle, takes him over the ditch again. Front floats like a... Oh, we've lost one there. Bobby XL's gone for Grey Clutterbuck. Unlucky. Floats like a summer fly. Hasn't uh, jumped the last couple particularly well. Been a bit slow. Gets it. Oh, and the leader this time just clatters through it. Front by the middle. Ha lucky to hang on to it as we come downhill now. With six furlongs to go. He leads down to just a couple of lengths as floats like a summer fly and Belmore Stone get within shooting distance. But a few of them are off their bridle now and being pushed along. But they've got to catch this leader who jumped that well. It's the 14th. There's only three to jump. And so it's front by the middle by about three to floats like a summer fly. Everyone else off the bridle now and being pushed along. The one coming out of the pack is Zomradar Alarab. So it's front by middle. Floats like a summer fly. Zomrad Alarab as they go over the 15th. So with just two to jump, it's front by middle. Floats like a summer fly. Petrolina Della's come out of nowhere. But slowing up now. Metronagoidi on the wide outside 
inside is Starback Mona, but here comes Marching Goidy to throw down a challenge to front by middle. Three furlongs left to run on the outside is Zomadai Al Arab. Floats like a summer fly, he's just going backwards now and he's floating like he's not floating at all. He's a lead balloon. And it's Matching Goidy that takes it up now from Zomadai Al Arab. Front by the middle has got nothing left. A bad jump there by Zomadai Al Arab, but front by the middle comes back in again from the jump. It's Matching Goidy inside a furlong and a half with one to jump. It's Matching Goidy spits slow over. He's gone. Matching Goidy's gone. Left star bet Mona out in front. We're inside the final furlong and it's star bet Mona for David Robertson. Here comes out of nowhere. He's in the nick of time. Running well with front by the middle. But it is going to be, is it, in the nick of time inside the final half. In the nick of time from front by the middle. Star bet Mona's got nothing left. In the nick of time has got up. In the nick of time. Takes it for Josh Sutherland. I think they were all helped by the poor jump by Matching Goidy in the last. So the Ryanair goes to Josh. He'll be well pleased. In the nick of time, it wouldn't have been the one he favoured. From front by middle, a long-time leader. Starbet Mona in third. Belmore Stone, a good run there for Pontypool Racing, get up for fourth. Axis Prospector for Hems was fifth. But a good win there for in the nick of time. Went round comfortably, but all, ha all helped by uh, the, the fall of Matching Goyne for Leon Van Rensburg. Losing both his uh, horses on that one. OK, let's move on to the next.